grassland in the dragon is one of our most, uh, one of Australia's most endangered reptiles. They're threatened because of the loss of grasslands across Australia, but also particularly in this region. Queen Bee Nature Reserve itself is, yeah, is flanked on one side by Queen Bee and suburbs, or really on two sides, and then just across the border is the ACT, and then just down the road there's sort of an industrial estate. Um, overhead, there's a flight path. It's a busy part of the world. Because they live part of their time in soil cracks and down spider burrows and in, in, in the soil and actually in the tussocks, um, if you, if you damage that structure, then they disappear and won't occupy that habitat anymore. We are live with dragon. They're hard to find, basically. And so traditional reptile survey methods of sort of, say, rolling rocks and logs are not very effective. Um, so probably maybe 15 years ago, a technique was developed to put artificial holes in the ground that the dragons can use. So what we've been doing um, is trying to find a more cost-effective way of doing that because that's very labour-intensive. Um, it's a lot of work to put the tubes into the ground, number one, but then to have the time to go out and check the tubes routinely uh, is very demanding. Uh, so what we've been doing is setting up some time-lapse cameras above the, the artificial holes, um, which we saw in the field today. And those time-lapse cameras take a photo every minute during the daylight hours, essentially. And that way, we're able to know if the dragons are using those holes without actually visiting the tubes. Uh, we had 24 cameras out and we had 360,000 photos. And after checking through those, uh, we found that over 5,000 images with dragons on them. But if we can go out and put spider holes in the ground and then move cameras around different sites over time, we'll be able to build up a picture of the type of habitat structure that the dragons are still occurring in and perhaps preferring. And so if we can manage you know, land that suits the dragons, I think we're better managing the land in general. And if we can do that it's sympathetic with produ production objectives and grazing objectives as well, then all the better. If people think they've seen these dragons on their properties, we'd be really interested in that. And or if people want to get involved in the program and you know, have a survey their land, more than willing to um, come and meet with them. And, and that's why we, we want to manage the landscape at a much broader level than individual sites because we, we, we really don't know where those drought refuge, refuges will be. And as long, if we have more habitat under appropriate management, there's a greater chance of some areas surviving through droughts or periods of you know, difficult times uh, so that they can then bounce back from those sites.